G'day and welcome back to the channel. Have I got an awesome series installed for you guys? This you crazy mother. So do you remember the mongrel? She's been a good old girl. Some people love it and some people absolutely despise it. And um, I love it, it's been awesome. But it's time to change things up and say goodbye to the mongrel. And do you remember the Golgong 90th birthday bash for the Model A Ford? Queen of the desert. Yeah. Queen of the desert. <laughs> Priscilla, we need you. Priscilla. Priscilla. <laughs> Today we start a new journey with the mongrel for the 90th birthday bash for the 1930 Model A Ford. And uh, we're turning this guy into a 1930 Model A Ford pickup. And not only that, I'm doing a collaboration with the organisers of the Golgong Bash. And um, we're doing this as a bit of a project for the show. Let me tell you what's going to happen. So we've got a Facebook page, there's a couple actually for Aussie Model A guys, and then there's the Golgong birthday page. And um, I posted up, just people talking about their projects and whatever, who's doing what, whatever, and I said, listen, I really need to get into mine, I haven't even started yet. And someone made a joke that if I brought all my parts up to Golgong, we could probably knock it together in the morning and um, have it driving the next day. And it was a bit of a joke, and it sort of got me thinking, what if we actually do that? So that's what we're going to do. It's not going to be as easy as just taking this up, all my parts, and putting it together up there because we're talking months of work to actually get this thing right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to build it. I'm going to pull it apart, put it in the sections, basically flat pack it to go along. And that's where the flat pack pickup comes from. So that fast 10 times, but without the IKEA Allen keys. Yeah, no, nah, there'll be none of that. On the Saturday morning, I think that's what's going to happen. We're going to assemble it. People can get involved. Um, people have never built hot rods before that are there. They can get involved and put parts on, give us a hand. Um, we'll do the majority of the stuff, but we'll put it together. And hopefully by midday or so, we'll have it driving. And uh, hopefully, we'll see how we go. We'll go for a cruise in it. But that's the plan. Pretty cool, hey? So I've really been inspired lately to step it up a bit with this thing. Um, so we're going to do this special. We're going to make it nice from a piece of junk that it was to a nice late 50s, early 60s style show rod. At the moment, I will probably will change my mind, but I'm pretty stuck on metal flake, full fendered, 60s style, side valve V8 Model A Ford pickup. It's going to be pretty cool. So what I need to do now is get it into the shed, do some measurements, um, blow it apart, chop it up and see what happens. Sit down, relax and enjoy the journey. So it's the end of July now and I've got till May to have it finished. That's 10 months. Let's get into it. <laughs> We're in the shed, we can start ripping it apart. And as usual, I've got the plan in my head and I've referenced quite a few pictures 
Um, and if you're going, man, you've got no way of getting this done by May. Coincidentally, Doris, this was taken 12 months ago today. G'day and welcome back to the garage. Today, we're building a traditional hot rod. And in May this year, we had rattle trap. <laughs> Don't forget, during that 10 months, I had two major spinal surgeries and a lot of downtime. So it is possible. I had a lot of help from some mates. But awesome news is, it's been four and a half months since my spinal fusion, and I had a uh, meeting with a neurosurgeon last week with my new scans, and the fusion's healing up really well, and he's given me the thumbs up to step it up a little bit. That's exciting, so another part of the inspiration to hook into this. I do have some mates on board though, let me tell you about it. So in conjunction with the um, the guys from the 90th birthday bash at Golgong, I've got Brett Lund from Deep South Upholstery um, on board to do the trim, which I'm really excited about. And I've also got a few of my Rattle Trap Club members keen to hook in and have a crack as well. So um, hopefully some other people come on board, but it doesn't matter, we'll get it done. Let me show you what we're putting in. I've got this 1937 Ford 221 cubic inch side valve V8. One heads off just so we can inspect it, see what it's like. It was supposed to be a good running motor. Um, so that's going in there. And gearbox wise, you can't really see it, but in there, there's a 1937 transmission. Needs rebuilding, but it's complete. And we'll use that. So yeah, model A diff, torque tube, all that sort of stuff. We'll made it up to this guy. Um, it's gonna be awesome. One thing that I've got to do, and I'll probably do during the process of this video, is set up a gantry, which I've had for a while. Um, I've got a block and tackle, I've got a gantry, it's a full frame, which I'm going to put over the bay, and that'll help me lift engines out, lift bodies off. Um, I just need to go up the Bunnings, get some, some masonry bolts, and some bolts to bolt it together. A few mates will lift it up, put it together, and it'll be done. So yeah, that's going to help. So saying that, Wisdom says poorly, the next job is to pull this apart, lift the cowl off. Although it's not massively heavy, I still have a back injury, so... Saying it all out loud, I'm going to pause this video. That'll be it for now. I'm going to go up to Bunnings, get my bolts, um, get some mates around. We'll put this gantry up so we can start doing things properly. Hope you're excited about this as much as I am. I'm super stoked and I hope to see you at Golgong. I don't know when this is going to be released, so I'm going to hope it happens before and you can sort of see the process and it'll hopefully encourage people to come along and be a part of the build because really, you guys are going to put it together. Um, you get the opportunity to put some of it together anyway, so yeah, it's going to be cool. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.